In order to grow, you need to be a better delegator. So develop clear SOPs, yes. which are standard operating procedures, yeah. to streamline processes and offload routine tasks from my desk. The next thing I'm gonna, and, and I'm doing, I've been doing this kind of stuff. Efficiencies, implement email templates, automated mm -hmm. follow-ups, pre-qualification scripts or checklists for when people come in. This is Vinny Chopra, Vinny Smile Chopra. Thank you for following me on social channels, listening to my podcast, YouTube channel, all the different channels, and also liking the podcast. Please give us a five-star review, subscribe to it, share the content. My blogs are there, please watch them too and read them. My Vinny and Bo show on Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific every week. And also Abundance Mindset with Vinny and Walter Amarello on Thursday live. Please enjoy this show. Thanks again for everything. God bless you. Hi friends, this is Vinny Chopra from here in Danville, California. And you might be saying, hey Vinny, what are these over here? You know, I wrote this book few years back, Apartment Syndication Made Easy. It became top seller. I came from India with $7 in my pocket. It says 500 million. It's gonna be 1 billion very soon. I'm right at about 850, 900 million. Then I'm ready for the next billion. Actually, you will see that happening. 2 billion in this book also. The other book I wrote, which has been a very big positivity has been my life. I've been married 43 years with two children. And the beauty is to be positive. The mindset that can take you to all the places in the world and that's the book that also became big big seller my third book senior assisted living is coming so do yourself a favor go ahead and click the link below to get free copies audio copies of these books even printed copies of these books if you can't afford it but I would highly recommend for you to get these or go to amazon.com just go to Amazon. I got it in soft cover, in hard cover, in Kindle, in audio, also the Spanish version of this. Oh, this book also. So let's crush it, guys. I know you can be successful. I know you can do the kind of things that you want to do in life and have the streams of income and know how to really educate yourself so that you could become a strong, strong force in this world in real estate. I know you can. So take that step. Don't just be on the sideline. Take charge of your life. Take charge of your education. On today's episode, we're going to talk about the top strategies to implement now for a strong finish in 2024 because it is right around the corner. Brother Bo, how are you? Welcome, everybody. Hey, this is Vinny and Bo Show. We come to you on Fridays, 9 a.m., 9 a.m. Please like our show, comment, share, so that we could bring great, great ideas to take you to the next step. Get your business to the next level. Get your brand, get your product, get your service. I love it. So, you know, I was like thinking about what am I going to do with like the remaining three months or four months left mm -hmm. of the year. And so, you know, the big takeaways, I, I when I was writing these down, I said, look, in order to grow, you need to be a better delegator. So develop clear SOPs, yes. which are standard operating procedures yeah. to streamline processes and offload routine tasks from my desk. The next thing I'm going to and, and I'm doing, I've been doing this kind of stuff. Efficiencies, implement email templates, automated mm -hmm. follow ups, pre qualification scripts or checklists for when people come in. So I was letting people book calls. And what I noticed was one is some people don't respect your time and they would book a call and wouldn't show up and I'd have to go hunt them down and go, oh, you, oh, I'm sorry, Bo, I forgot we had the Zoom call. Yes. Oh, you yeah. booked the call guy on my schedule and I was parking that 15 minutes for you. It's unacceptable yeah. to have people not show up. So now they have, yeah. I am very, I have, I put in my, where their booking calendar is. I'm like, if you have general questions, you click here and that takes them uh. to a certain time that I'll, I'll meet with those general questions. And then I said, if you have a deal right now, fill out this. And so I'm making them jump through more hoops because my time is valuable, right? So the more you can delegate, the more you can streamline these processes. And so people aren't wasting my time. People that yeah. need help, I want to help them. So if you're wasting my time, you're wasting all the other people that are trying to talk to me, right? Essentially. Yes. So, and then, you know, going back to Dan Martell's book, buy back my time. Mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm going to reduce time that I'm wasting, like looking on social media. I'm going to focus 
on the highest money-making activity. So going back to the other efficiencies and delegation, putting that all together, it's not that I'm gonna work more hours, it's that the time I spend is so well leveraged, and so well oiled, that yeah. I have machines going out. Like when I have events, I have over 10,000 emails a day going out and it's automated, yeah. I'm not thinking about it. But every yeah. day people are opting in to come to my events and then you know, automate the process that then they all go on my newsletter, right? Now I'm building this whole ecosystem and I'm not really doing anything to build it. It's a snowball effect. Amplify success. Focus on and expand the strategies that are already working effectively. What Alex Ramosi says when I was at a scaling conference, he says, do more better. If you have yeah. something that is working, do more of it and do it better. Plain yeah. and simple. We tend to get the we shiny can... object syndrome and say, oh, well, mm -hmm. I'm in a good way in this. And no, do more no, of no. what's working and get hyper-focused and better at what you're doing. And then become more of a key person of influence. Increase visibility and authority by getting on more stages, podcasts and things like that in actual live events. Position myself as a thought leader in the industry, right? Because you want people to know whatever industry you're in, you want them to know, like if they think about residential assisted living, they're gonna think about Vinny, right? If they think about SBA and franchise, they're gonna think about Bo. If they think Bo, about yeah. lead generation and social media and branding and business acquisition, think about Alex Ramosi, right? Like, so you yeah. wanna be that so key true. person of influence uh, yes. in your niche and that's how you get market share. And that's why people started inviting you to things and you're now in the limelight and then that snowballs into a bigger, bigger thing. And so that's what we all have to do. I love it, Bo. Did you take my playbook, man? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I mean, you know, Bo and I are just great friends, like brothers. And key thing is, you know, we are always looking out for each other and sharing with the world how to save time and money and efforts and buy back time and the books that we discuss with you, everything and action and not really just like you just touched me so many points i wish you know and the key thing is we are trying our best to brand ourselves to be the authority so that people can be in the circle and we cannot just throw so much on the wall so please pick back look back listen back to Bo, what you just covered because so many things are very repetitive if i go back again and do it the key thing is we are trying to save time we are trying to save money time efforts Pareto principle has really set my mind right you know and everybody knows 80 20 rule it's called 80 20 rule is so important what you do in a day 80% of the results come from 20% of that very, very highly effective activities. That's it, that's it. No matter what you say, that's what it is. It's not watching TV, it's not watching uh, social media and this and that and all that and get upside, upside down and things, but concentrating on what needs to be done today as the entrepreneur, solopreneur, or CEO of many companies or whatever, you want to pull it down and look at the KPIs. And yesterday, my Abundance Mindset show with Walter, we talked about the similar subject yesterday because the key thing is, if you don't know financials of your business, you are missing the book. You've got to look at where the engine, the marketing engine, sales engine is, and where the expenses are going. And if there is no profit, then it's not a business you should be in. Or figure out a way how to increase revenues. It all boils down to simple terms. It's complexity kills us. I always say that, you know, you got to be so simply minded into what your product is, who is your avatar, right? We talked about that. And I love what you just covered. So many things about automation and priorities and SOP, standard operating procedures, if we don't have. And now we are doing it in Arizona, thanks to Bo. He's getting me the SBA loans and all. I'm designing my whole company where I had 158 uh, team members in the multifamily management company and acquisition company. We are trying to do the same structure in Arizona. 
and we want to have SOPs and the manuals and everything in the website. We got a beautiful uh, structure. Every day we are meeting with our manager and we want to perfect it so that these two RALs, residential assisted livings, will be epic. And then we're going to just duplicate it and duplicate and duplicate. So in next six months, we want to get 10 of these. Can we get them? I really believe so. I have so many investors who say, Vinny, if you give me 10% return on the equity and, you know, consistently give it, guess what? In RALs, I can give them that. You know, they could buy the home or whatever. We'll look into those structures. But the key thing is you got to really be on top of the game, what you're saying, Bo. And that's the beauty. It's the time and money. This and relationships clearly define goals, visions, and then delegation. Automation and delegation is the number one thing. If we are not doing that, we are missing the boat. Totally. I mean, it's not like overnight you're going to realize all these things at once, but like that's yeah. why every day you have to get a little bit smarter and you have mm-hmm. to go, okay, like this week I was working on all these things. I'm a little frustrated because when I open up my calendar, it fills up, which is a beautiful thing, but if I'm letting people on that have general questions, I have made videos all around these general questions that people want to take 30 minutes of my time to ask the same questions over and over again. So yeah. it's like, okay, I'm going to have office hours where, hey, you know, there, here's the calendar and I also do office hours. So they're going to get like a calendar that's opened, but it's very limited hours, right? So I know like, mm-hmm. hey, you have general questions and you don't have a deal. You can go to this calendar or you can come to office hours. Yeah. And that's where people come on Zoom and they go, what's your question? We solve the problem. And I'll probably make turn yeah. that into a podcast, right? Because mm-hmm. then it'll knock two birds out with, stone, uh, with one stone. So yeah. yeah, I think just getting smarter and wiser with your business, because if you keep doing the same thing, that's the definition of insanity, right? And yeah. so like, I don't want to be insane anymore because you want to get smarter as you get older, not dumber. And, and so that's why all these things need to be need to be implemented because before you know it, it's going to be 2025. Yes. And we're going to look yes. back and go, did we hit all of our goals? Well, you know, we still have some time, but you know, if we didn't, we really have to figure out why we didn't hit our goals and what we're, what we're missing. And really the 20% that's making the 80% of all the money, right? Why aren't we focusing more on that 20%? Yes. And that is the, and we're doing everything else. So like I started thinking about, I think, I don't know who coined the term eating the frog, but that 20%, mm. We might not like doing that thing the most, but that's the thing that makes puts the most bread in our pocket. And at the end of the day, that's why we're, most of us, we want to put more bread in our pocket. So being yeah. able to eat the frog and doing it first thing in the morning, like I hate doing the Stairmaster now at the gym. It's the hardest mm-hmm. piece of cardio. You have to walk up stairs nonstop. Yep. I trained my mind to do that every single day now, eat the frog. Instead of me doing like walking or whatever, not not saying walking is bad because I still walk, but but yes. like if I want to lose weight, that machine burns the most calories, and I can I sweat and I feel the best. So I just do that every day. I eat the frog soup, then I come into my office, take the same mindset and eat the frog of that twenty percent of money making activities, and do that mm-hmm. before you do anything else. Then you have won the day before eleven o'clock in the morning. Important. So very important what you're discussing, Bo, because if we are able to take care of that frog, the bad, the things that we don't, but that's the most productive activities we can do to get the maximum results, the thinking time, the planning time, and talking to the right customers or clients and things, preparing presentations and really getting us aligned without distractions. Because after 11, the I mean, the shit still saves the ceiling, you know, emergencies and this and that, and the time just goes away. So you're so right. No, this is so important. Again, guys, you know, the big thing is we are not experts. I mean, you know, we are regular people, Bo and I, but the key thing we try to communicate is that we can make a difference. Everybody can grow their businesses. And look at the avatars look at who you are trying to get to it's not who is following you it's who are the right people in your circle who can really be bringing business and you could give your service to them it's all about serving 
so are you able to serve and of people just like you said bo you know people come in and they have wrong questions you cannot help them similarly in my case too i just been trying to train my bot on the uh, go high level to ask some pertinent questions so that if i cannot help them then i don't need to make appointment you know or the bot I, should not make appointment yeah. yeah and so that's really the premise of this and so i i would also to kind of end this conversation out look i think that the real difference is like nothing came easy to me but what i did is i became a lifetime learner and i mm-hmm. i keep on learning and over time you're going to get really good like yes. when i wanted to learn sba loans it was very foreign to me and mm. now i'm in a round table every week with sba lenders and brokers and i'm the one that knows more than most of the other people i mean i'm yeah. not like as good as these bankers and underwriters but mm-hmm. from what mm-hmm. i do i'm like probably top tier yeah. because i work at it and i learn and i ask questions and i build relationships So whatever you're doing if you're not doing that in your niche or your category you're not going to make the progress you want. So that's what I really focus on is getting better every day and knowing like I could be frustrated that somebody's so far ahead of me. Stop looking mm-hmm. over my shoulder and going, "Oh, that person's so far ahead, they're just crushing it." I don't care anymore. I just focus on me and getting better. And then also the big breakthrough I had with my coach this week and I think everybody uh-huh. should get a mentor or a coach. Mhm. I came to the conclusion that I am like the person, right? I don't need to go search somebody out. I'm already the person that can teach the knowledge. And over mm-hmm. the years, I realized that people come to me because I give them great advice. Lawson, yeah. Tiffany, all these people come to Bo because Bo mm-hmm. adds value to what they're doing. And so I I learned to celebrate that and I realized that this week that I am that person. I love that Bo. I mean, people reach out and they're reading my books. Actually, I had a great talk with a gentleman a couple of weeks back, and then I talked to him again one hour, just a strategy session. <clears throat> He picked up my two books on Amazon: Apartment Syndication Made Easy and Senior Living Investing Made Easy. He says, "Vinny, I love the word made easy. I'm the kind of person I want to learn from a mentor or a coach who can make this all the techniques learning easier." and he's coming into a mastermind and everything which is great the key thing is give your authority let people know who you are because if you don't let people know how would they know you then see so that's what bo and i are trying to say build your brand get your authority out there write a book write two books three books my fourth book is i'm writing now on residential assisted livings i wrote the senior living which was with multi complexes building it from scratch but now i'm writing residential assisted living which is a huge shortage 1.3 million beds we are short right now i know apartments we are short many many millions also but in the resist, uh, residential assisted living or assisted living per se in centers we are showed 1.3 million beds and it's growing demand so again i'm just saying that you know it's good to really let people know how you could help them and that's the key you know and yeah. that's what you're doing bro more and more of it i'm so proud of you really brother yeah Well, very good, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. <laughs> hey, we'll see you next one, next Friday, 9 a.m. See you then. Bo and I are together to really bring the best to get your business to the next level. Do me a favor, subscribe and share. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to chatting with you in the future.